changing your life one story at a time. This is the Chicken Soup for the Soul podcast with Editor-in-Chief Amy Newmark. Hey, it's Amy Newmark with your daily dose of Chicken Soup for the Soul inspiration. And it's Wow Wednesday. Now, we're nearing the end of National Adopt-A-Cat Month. And you know how passionate we are at Chicken Soup for the Soul about adopting dogs and cats that need to find new homes. In fact, we launched a new nationwide program to help shelters. For every purchase of Chicken Soup for the Soul dog or cat food, we're going to donate a pound of our food to a shelter in your local area. Our program is called Fill a Bowl, Feed a Soul. And this is the time of year when the shelters are filled with new kittens, and that means the shelters have a particularly acute need to find homes for those kittens and all the adult cats that are waiting there, too. Now, if you already have a dog, you may be wondering if you can add a cat to the mix. So I thought I'd share a couple of stories with you from the two cat books that we published from which royalties go to the American Humane Association to support all of their wonderful work on animal welfare. Our first story is from Chicken Soup for the Soul, The Cat Did What? And for those of you wondering if you can add a cat to the dog household, this story will answer that question. It's a story by Linda Newton, and it's called Our Own Incredible Journey, and it makes it clear that cats and dogs can get along just fine. So our writer, Linda, and her family had moved to a remote parcel of land in the Sierra foothills and they had adopted two cats that they found living on their property. They weren't sure if the cats would get along with their dog, Lacey, who was pretty old. But it turned out that they got along great right from the start. Lacey let them drink from her water bowl and sleep on her dog bed, and as she continued to age, her cat friends stayed close to her. And when arthritic Lacey would hobble out to greet Linda when she drove home, the cats would accompany her. Then Lacey started to get disoriented. She was experiencing a form of dementia, just like humans. And Linda was worried that Lacey would go out and get lost. And that's exactly what happened one Thursday night when Linda's teenagers were busy with their house full of friends from their church youth group and nobody remembered to watch the dog. By the time Linda and her husband realized that Lacey was gone, it was dark. They searched till midnight, but they couldn't find the dog. Friday morning, they looked again. No Lacey. And that night, no Lacey either. Saturday morning, Linda went out, and she couldn't believe her eyes. Lacey was there in the distance with one of the cats on each side of her, nudging her along and guiding her up their long driveway. And when the three animals got to the porch, they all lapped up the water in the bowl. No one knows how far they had to go to find their dog friend, or how long it took them to bring her home, but those two rescued cats saved the day. Now, our most recent cat book, Chicken Soup for the Soul, My Very Good, Very Bad Cat, also supports the American Humane Association, and it has more stories about dog and cat friendships. In one such story, Elizabeth Atwater tells us what happened when her husband found an abandoned newborn kitten and brought it home to their golden retriever, who had just had puppies. That golden retriever was a little surprised when that little kitten tried to push her way through the much larger, part husky puppies to get some milk. But the mother dog and the puppies all allowed the kitten to make her way in. And that kitten ended up living with those puppies, feeding with them, playing with them. When things got too rough, the mother dog would run over to inspect her smallest baby, the little kitten, to make sure that she was okay. And that kitten ended up remaining by the mother dog's side as all the puppies went off to their new homes. In fact, Elizabeth started calling the kitten Rover and gave up the idea of finding her a new home too. To this day, the mother dog and that little kitten, now a cat, are inseparable. And Rover, the cat, still thinks that she's a dog. I'm Amy Newmark. Thank you for listening to the Chicken Soup for the Soul podcast today. If you'd like to learn more about our cat books, and they do support the American Humane Association, then please go to our website, chickensoup.com, and look up Chicken Soup for the Soul, The Cat Did What, and Chicken Soup for the Soul, My Very Good, Very Bad Cat. 
Now, tomorrow is Thoughtful Thursday, and since it's almost the 4th of July weekend, we're going patriotic tomorrow with a story about a teenage girl who proudly stood for the Pledge of Allegiance despite a whole lot of pure pressure. 